general properties of triangles. Let's go. That's a triangle. The properties. The sum of the interior angles of the triangle is equal to 180. So give me 180. Property 1. PT2. The sum of two opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior. This and this are opposites. This is their exterior, outside them. This and this are not opposites. They are adjacent. Are you okay? So if I add this and this, I should get the one word outside here. Only two properties of what? Triangles. Isosceles. Isosceles. So isosceles triangle. That is a triangle with two sides equal. When you see this geometric cuts and cuts here, they are equal. Now there are two interior base angles equal. The angles down there, down at their base, are equal. How will I know whether it is isosceles? I'll be told. Or they will tell me this side is equal to this side, and I know it's isosceles. I have to cut it and cut it. Or be told something here is a center. Then I know the distance from here to here and here to here is the same, right? I can also establish isosceles. Are you okay? Good. So we see in this triangle often in our plane geometry, and we can also see them in our second theorems. We will see them in trigonometry. We also see them in bearing. But the isosceles triangle combines bearing, vertical bearing. I think all our drawings are uh, sources. Every drawing. Find the value of x. Let's go. All the angles are inside. So I'll just say sum of interior angles of a triangle add that to what? 180. Sum of interior. Are you okay? X plus x is what? 2x. 60 equals what? 180. 2x equals 180 minus what? 60. 2x equals what? 120. 2. 2. X is what? 60. So x is 60 degree, right? One. Now, uh -huh, I wish I know something here, then I'll just go by sum of interior, right? See, there's a guy, I don't know it. Okay, but remember something here. So with this one, we have methods. You can just do a projection like this and get something here. You can also use that. So maybe you can put y here. So you can go by 120 plus y equals 180. What is the reason behind this? Straight line, right? Okay, so straight line angles are not equal. They rather add that to 180. Be very careful. So y equals 180 minus 120. Y is what? Again. 60. So this side is 60. Then you can just go by sum of interior and you like sum of interior of our triangle equals what? 180. So I have 50 plus x plus y equals what? 180. 50 plus x 60 plus y. No, no, no. Plus x plus 60 equals what? 180. S equals 180 minus 110. Oh, what is X? 70. You said have X. Another easy way is by you doing this. So you see, you can also introduce something there. What's the straight line? Another easy way is by you saying sum of two opposites, right? Because what? The exterior. You know, this is opposite to this. So there is 50 plus X equals what? 120. X is 120 minus what? 50. X is what? 70. It doesn't matter how you do your work. It's what you see. What kind of triangle is this? That is isosceles. How did I know? This side and this side are equal. That is why I can see this cut here. So if it is isosceles, it tells me that this side is also 56. Please, anytime I introduce a new angle on my drawing, I use a broken line, right, to differentiate, so that you, you, you will not see them to be part of the original angles, right? Okay, so when you are also transferring or copying, please use broken lines or different ink. So it's isosceles. So there's a reason behind it. Base angles equal. 
And the reason is what? Isosceles. Right? Base angles are equal. The reason is isosceles, right? So I can just get my sum of interior for the B. Do you believe that? So B plus 56 plus 56 equals what? 180. Is that not sum of interior of a triangle? B equals 180 minus 112. What is B? 68. So I have B. How can I get A? What can I see about A and Yes! See, it's coming. Now, straight line angles, right? They, they, they just look like that. Interior, but they are not okay. So A equals was 180 minus was 56. A. How can I get my C? You know, I can put it this way 56 plus C plus 19. I cannot just ignore this one and just say C plus. No, 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 no. It's 56 plus C plus all of them, right? Equal to 180. Or some of this and this equal to the outside. You know, 56 and B, they are exterior, it's not just 19. Or just C. It's a combination of the C and what? 19. Hope you are getting it. So what is the easy way out? Straight line. Eh? Yeah. So straight line is very well easy. Good. Now let's go. 56 plus C plus 19 equals what? 180. Straight line angles, right? Now. C equals what? 180 minus. Yes. Application in the triangle XYZ is produced to T, XYZ produced or extended to T. The length of xy, that's the meaning of length or magnitude, is equal to the length of xz. Once I've been told that this side is equal to this side, it's an isosceles. So I can mark that for spitting reasons. Did you see in the introduction I do on my drawing, I use a broken line so that it will not look as if it was there for you. Are you okay? So that is it. So once it is isosceles, you know the angle here. Can we go to the angle here? You agree? Why? Isosceles has base angles was equal. You see the trick? So once you know the nature of a triangle, that is all. I can just try my sum of interior. Find the value of it. Now what's something here? Angle YXZ is 40. Let's go. YXZ. The one in the middle is the carrier of the angle. Here. Angle XZT. X, Z, T. See the one in the middle is a carrier of the angle. Right? Good. So if you want to call this angle, you can also name it angle T, Z, X. I mean, we are not so good at naming the angle. So you can just do some regression like this. It's accepted. Right? But when you're using this method, you have to read drop on the marker. Then the marker should see that you inserted A here. If not, how the marker tell whether this is what you call A? This will be a definite. So you go by letting the angles like this, which you can do, fine, or you insert. Good. Now let's go. Sum of interior of what? A triangle is equal to what? 180. A plus A plus 40 equals what? 180. 2A equals 180 minus what? 40. You see that? 2A, 142. 2A is what? 70. Now I'm looking for X. Is that not a straight line approach? Okay. Also, a plus 13x minus 20 equals what? 180. Is that not straight line angles? Okay. 70 plus 13x minus 20 equals what? 180. Now, this will give me 50. You believe that? So, 180 minus what? 50. 13x equals what? 130. 13. 13. X. 30. So, that is the value. The total mark for that is one mark if you succeed. That is key.